Thank you for choosing the 12 by 24 pergola from Yardistry. We're confident you'll find the assembly straightforward as long as you work through each step in the manual. In addition, this Helpful Hints video offers tips and tricks that we've learned along the way for handling some of the more critical steps. Step 1. Inventory Before beginning assembly, sort your inventory by laying out each of the wood parts and hardware on the ground. Then, using the stamps or marked reference numbers, take a few minutes to cross-reference each one with the list in the assembly manual. Remember, we are always here to help. Contact us if you find a part that is damaged or missing. Take a moment to record the carton ID stamp for each box that you receive. There is a space on page 10 of your manual to write down the first five digits that come before 14459 and also the letter at the end. Step 2. Post Assemblies Part 1 through 3 In Step 2, when installing the post mounts to the bottom of the posts, keep the bolts loose. Hold each post mount tight to the bottom and inside of the post and attach with pan screws from the inside. It's okay to install these screws on an angle and from the bottom. Now go back and tighten the bolts. Lastly, place and attach a plinth on each side of the post so it is flush to the bottom and sides of the post. Step 3. Attach Post Block Place a post block inside the top of a post. In the correct position, the holes in the bottom of the post block will align with the holes in the pergola post and the middle of the post block will be flush to the top of the post. Secure with two bolts. It is okay if the post block moves a bit once the bolts are installed. Step 4. Trellis Joist Assembly It is best to do Step 4 on a solid and flat raised surface. Interlock the notches on two trellis joist A's so the boards are flush. You'll know it is a trellis joist A because the boards will have two holes near the detailed end and two gusset holes along the bottom. Have one person look down the boards to make sure they are flush and straight while another secures with bolts. Next, interlock the notches on two trellis joist B's so the boards are flush. You'll know it is a trellis joist B because the boards will have only one hole near the detailed end. Again, have one person look down the boards to make sure they are flush and straight while another person secures with bolts. On each end of the trellis joist B assembly, attach two trellis brackets in the pre-drilled holes. On the short side of each trellis joist A and B assembly, center one splice. It can help to use a tape measure to find the center. When in place, secure with wood screws, then pre-drill through the countersunk holes and detach with lag screws. Step 5. Beam Assembly Continue to work on a solid and flat raised surface. Place two beam ends as shown here and install T-nuts. The T-nuts need to go into opposite sides of the beam ends. Line up a beam end, beam middle, and center beam so the pilot holes are all along the top. Next, insert a connector block into each end of the beam middle, positioned so the first two holes line up with the holes on the beam middle. Then, loosely attach, making sure the T-nuts are on the same side as they are in the beam end. Continue by sliding a beam end onto the connector block at one end of the beam middle and a center beam onto the connector block at the other end of the beam middle. Double check to make sure the pilot holes in the beam end, beam middle, and center beam are all on the top and secure each loosely with bolts. To complete the assembly, have a helper hold the beam end tight and flush to the beam middle and the beam middle tight and flush to the center beam while you secure with wood screws and tighten the bolts. Step 6. Post and Beam Assembly Lay two post assemblies down on a flat surface with the bolt heads facing up. If they're not facing up, rotate the posts so that they are in the correct position. Next, place a beam end assembly over the post blocks. Again, make sure the bolt heads on the beam end assembly are facing upwards. Along the top of the beam, measure 12 inches from the very end of the beam end and mark it. Use a square to make a mark in the same spot along the bottom of the beam. Line up the outside edge of the post with this mark, square the post to the beam, and secure with bolts. Do the same thing on the other end of the beam end assembly, but measure 17 and a half inches from the end of the center beam to the edge of the post. Complete the post and beam assembly by attaching a gusset to each corner. Recheck that the post and beam are square, then place a gusset so it is centered on the post and beam. While a helper holds the gusset in place, 
Pre-drill through the countersunk holes and secure with lag screws. Repeat on the other side of the beam assembly. Step 7. Attach trellis joist A assemblies. This step should be completed in the final location of the pergola. To build the frame, have two helpers stand the post and beam assemblies up so the center beams are facing the same direction. This is the side of the pergola that the second portion will be built onto. Check to make sure they are oriented so the bolt heads on each assembly face towards the outside of the assembly. On one end of the beam end assemblies, have another two people place a trellis joist A assembly on either side of the post blocks. Check to make sure the bolt heads installed in the center of both the inside and outside trellis joist A assemblies are facing out. If not, flip the board around so they are, then loosely attach the trellis joist A assemblies to the post blocks with bolts. Along the top of the trellis joist A assembly, measure 13 inches from the very end of the assembly and mark it. Use a square to make a mark in the same spot along the bottom of the trellis joist A assembly. Line up the outside edge of the beam with this mark and square the trellis joist A assembly to the beam. When aligned, tighten the bolts. Repeat on the other side. Step 8. Attach long gussets, part 1 and 2. Start by squaring the post assemblies to the trellis joist A assemblies at each corner. Use your foot to gently kick and adjust the posts if needed. Place a long gusset so one end is tight to the post assembly and the other fits between the two trellis joist A assemblies. If the gusset doesn't fit between the trellis joists, loosen the bolts from step 7, place the gusset between the trellis joist A assemblies, then retighten the bolts. Once the gusset is in place, pre-drill and attach with a leg screw to the posts and secure to the trellis joists with bolts. Once all the gussets have been installed, Check the squareness of the unit. It should measure 163 and 11 16th inches diagonally between posts in both directions. Again, use your foot to gently kick the posts and make any necessary adjustments. Step 9. Attach trellis joist B assemblies. On both sides of the beam, measure and mark 23 and 5 8 inches from the inside edge of each inner trellis joist A assembly. Place a trellis joist B assembly so the outside edge is at the marked location. In the correct spot, there should be 23 and 5 8 inches between trellis joist A and B. Center the trellis bracket over the beam and secure with pan screws at either end of trellis joist B. Repeat this process to install all trellis joist B assemblies. Take care to place the assembly so the bolt heads in the center of the assemblies are all facing the same way. Step 10. Beam assembly. At each end of a beam middle, insert and loosely attach a connector block using bolts. Step 11. Frame assembly, part 1. Place two beam ends, as shown here, and install T-nuts. The T-nuts need to go into opposite sides of the beam ends. Set a beam end over each post block so the T-nuts are on the same side as the post, then secure with bolts. Step 11. Frame assembly, part 2 and 3. You'll need four people and two ladders for this step. Have one person on a ladder at the center beam insert T-nuts on the inside of the center beam. Then have a second person bring in the beam assembly and hand it up to the person at the center beam. Check to make sure the T-nuts on the beam assembly are on the inside of the frame. Insert the connector block into the center beam and loosely attach with bolts. Have a third person bring in the beam end. Again, Make sure the T-nuts face the inside of the frame assembly and then slide the beam end over the connector block on the beam assembly and loosely connect with bolts. With one person holding the center beam and beam middle tight together and flush, have another person secure it with wood screws from the top and tighten the bolts. Lastly, do the same thing at the beam middle and beam end. Repeat on the other side of the pergola. Step 12. Attach trellis joist A assemblies. At the end of the beam end assemblies, have two people place a trellis joist A assembly on either side of the post blocks. Check to make sure the bolt heads installed in the center of both the inside and outside trellis joist A assemblies are facing out. If not, flip the board around so they are, then loosely attach the trellis joist A assemblies to the post blocks with bolts. 
Along the top of the trellis joist A assembly, measure 13 inches from the very end of the assembly and mark it. Use a square to make a mark in the same spot along the bottom of the trellis joist A assembly. Line up the outside edge of the beam with this mark and square the trellis joist A assembly to the beam. When aligned, tighten the bolts. Step 13. Attach gussets. Check that the post and beam are square, then place a gusset so it is centered on the post and beam. While a helper holds the gusset in place, pre-drill through the countersunk holes and secure with lag screws. Step 14. Attach long gussets. Start by squaring the post assemblies to the trellis joist A assemblies at each corner. Use your foot to gently kick and adjust the posts if needed. Place a long gusset so one end is tight to the post assembly and the other fits between the two trellis joist A assemblies. If the gusset doesn't fit between the trellis joists, loosen the bolts from step 7, place the gusset between the trellis joist A assemblies, then retighten the bolts. Once the gusset is in place, pre-drill and attach with a leg screw to the posts and secure to the trellis joists with bolts. Once all the gussets have been installed, check the squareness of the unit. It should measure 163 and 11 16 inches diagonally between posts in both directions. Again, use your foot to gently kick the posts and make any necessary adjustments. Step 15. Attach trellis joist B assemblies. On both sides of the beam, measure and mark 23 and 5 8 inches from the inside edge of each inner trellis joist A assembly. Place a trellis joist B assembly so the outside edge is at the marked location. In the correct spot, there should be 23 and 5 8 inches between trellis joist A and B. Center the trellis bracket over the beam and secure with pan screws at either end of trellis joist B. Repeat this process to install all trellis joist B assemblies. Take care to place the assemblies so the bolt heads in the center of the assemblies are all facing the same way. Step 16. Trellis assembly. Place a trellis bracket between the notches of a long and short trellis and secure with a bolt. The bottom of the bracket should stick out along the bottom of the assembly. This is the side that has the short edge on the short trellis. Step 17. Attach trellis assemblies, part one. To attach the trellis assemblies to the unit, start by measuring and marking 66 inches in from each end of the trellis joist A assemblies. You should be making eight marks in total. At each side of the pergola, Lift two trellis assemblies on top of the trellis joists so the inside edge of each lines up with the mark and the notched ends meet in the middle of the pergola. Using a bolt, secure the notched ends in the middle. Then, use pan screws to attach the trellis brackets to the trellis joist assemblies and use wood screws to secure it at all of the other joints. Next, measure and mark 11 and 7 8 inches from the outside edge of the first two trellis assemblies. Then, place two more trellis assemblies so the inside edge is at the mark. In other words, there should be 11 and 7 8 inches between the two trellis assemblies. The trellis assemblies should be connected and secured in the same fashion as the first ones. Repeat until all the trellis assemblies have been installed. Step 18. Attach post trims. Using wood screws, attach four post trims to the top of each post. They should be tight to the bottom of each beam assembly, and the edges should be flush to the edge of the post. The rounded edge on the post trim should be towards the bottom when installed correctly. Step 19. Attach top post blocks. To finish off the installation, attach two post blocks to each post with wood screws. The post block should be flush to the sides and tight to the top of the post trim. If the post block does not fit in the space, loosen the bolt on the trellis joist A assemblies, make adjustments so the post block fits, then retighten the bolts.